Well, I always remember being younger and not understanding why if my finger, like, whenever I had messed up a note a bunch of yeah. times that it sounded okay, I'd always be like, well, why can't I just change it? Like, I remember always thinking that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. It's like, I think it sounds okay. That's what my fingers want to do. I think that's an important part of teaching is to show the student that, okay, let's try it your way. Let's but try it the way it's written. It Make, tell me what the difference is if you yeah. think there is any difference. Do you want to choose one versus the other? So you, you hope the student says, I'll choose the one that Chopin wrote. But if they don't, then, then you say to them very, says, well, I think it's important you get a chance to do it the way you want. So how about learning to do it your way and Chopin's way? <laughs> oh, that not? It took me a little while to get that I wasn't necessarily better. <laughs> No, but you are. I mean, Chopin wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you. Just think about it. If you didn't play Chopin, if nobody played Chopin, would his music exist? Only on paper, but that's not music. Doesn't look. I don't hear sounds when I look. Well, I actually do hear sounds when I look at the paper. But. You're one of few. All right. And I I'll got see my you next, next Thursday. Bye.